Well, welcome back. Some professional athletes end their careers earlier than they perhaps want, and then they have a hard time adjusting to life outside of the spotlight. This morning, we have sports psychologist Dr. Christina Rosari and former NBA player Lamon Murray here to talk about some of those challenges. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Uh, obviously, we have you here because of what happened last week with uh, Junior Seau committing suicide. There's no attribution that this may have happened to him, but there are some statements that he may have made about not doing somebody again. And, and, and that's basically what we're talking about here. Can you address that a little bit? It's just not in Junior's instance because we don't have any proof there. But just how difficult it is for players to do this. The career transition for a professional player can be very difficult. And uh, the players lose everything that they're familiar with. And there's a lot of changes overnight. Usually with very little notice. The players usually retire because of an injury, end of a contract, uh, or something very similar. It's not by choice. And it takes between four and eight years for a professional player to adjust to life after sports. For Lamont, it is a lifestyle that most of us can only imagine, being in the NBA, being in the NFL, and having that spotlight on you. Uh, tell us your story a little bit and, and, and why you're here this morning. Well, um, my story is the same as Christina's saying. Uh, I was blessed to be fortunate enough to play in the NBA for 11 seasons. Uh, and after I was done, well, actually, uh, done playing um it was very hard for me to transition from uh, being a spotlight uh just just being a game that i've played my whole life uh i think that was a main issue it's almost taking something away that you've worked for your whole life and one day and it's been cut and you're going okay so what do i do now what what's the transition what's next for me who am i <laughs> still yeah and you're in the prime of your life you're still a young man and you have a lot of life to look forward to but I guess it's a complete change. Yeah, definitely. It's a, it's a, it's a shock. Uh, like I said before, it's, it's really depressing for some, at some moments. Uh, I retired in 2005. Mm -hmm. It took me up until this last year, really, to feel comfortable with myself and to transition into uh, just being normal and <laughs> doing yeah. life, life things. And Dr. The statistics bear this out. I believe there's something from the NFL the other day that said 83% of former NFL players have either within five years have gone through a divorce, they've gone through bankruptcy, uh, or they've gone through serious bouts of depression. Yeah, that is true. Um, that, that's true for all professional sports. Mm -hmm. A lot of the players don't have any plans for the retirement. So what we encourage them to do is start planning for the second career and for the transition process during their active career. Mm -hmm. Because that's going to happen any day. You know, it's a fact, they just don't know when. And if the player has a solid education, good support system, financial stability, and uh, confidence in himself, and depends on their coping skills, they can have a very smooth transition. There's a lot of players that have been very successful in, on their second career. And Lamont is an example of that. He started planning for the second career while he was in, in the NBA. You know, we had uh, the NBA education and career transition program. He's back in school now, getting his degree to become a sports psychologist. So he's done that. He's done his planning. He's done his homework, and he's had a very smooth transition. How critical is this? Because the NFL is being criticized right now for not having some program like this in place. They don't have that transition, transitional period for their players. And this is critical. The league should have a nice trans career transition program and also provide education uh, on the symptoms of depression. From my experience, most players suffer from depression immediately after the their end of their professional career. And the statistics in the United States show that that is a problem in the general population also. And, but the, leagues the NFL has a program, but they don't have professionals that are trained properly to provide the service. They usually use retired players Right. And they don't have sports psychologists. And our university here in San Diego, the San Diego University Point, the greatest study, the only school in the United States that offers the training for sports psychologists out of the clinical psychology department. All right, Lamont, we have to go, but we want to know what you're up to now. Uh, now I'm at my company, it's Run Run, uh, Run, 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 Run Inc., uh, Run Run Academy as well. So we work with, with high school kids, we work with elementary school kids. And, what we do is provide them with the social, emotional, 
uh, backgrounds to, to go out and succeed in, in everyday life. So that's what we do through PE kind of classes and, and uh, uh, music and fine arts programs. Thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you very much for having us. Mike Kasnucci is an